Ja. Här kommer ut en liten brandsläckare. Uh, started with just uh, some of the lights on it not coming on, so started looking at the fuses and realized there was a whole lot of leftover cables in here from the old days. I would guess they had some cell phone mounted and it was a uh, printer cable and a uh, whole bunch of more things back there that didn't seem to be of any use. So started digging into it, uh, removing some plastic panels. The knobs for the temperature has a little lock screw on them. Since I didn't found a faulty yeah, fuse or uh, anything for the light that didn't work, I started looking at the wiring and simply a wire had been torn. So we just uh, uh, did a quick uh, uh, repair on that. Some clamp on connectors and some uh, shrink tubing and after that it worked. Back to digging through the cables here I fa found some antenna cable that I decided I was gonna let it stay back there for now not just start cutting it apart so wrapped it up and hid it at the top of the panel here. Uh, started looking at the wiring for the camera that's mounted on it. There is still a camera on the front. I don't think th there is one on the rear anymore, but uh, it's nothing showing on the display, so anyone can point me in any directions how to check if that's operational. Please let me know. Also found some video where we mounted the like panel on the left side under the cab. It's just a couple of bolts. It's very simple. When we first closed it off after replacing the pump, we realized we needed to adjust a little for the mount on it, lube things up a little, and then we brought the cab down and locked it. With the that cab up. tilted down, it's just about turning that one to actually lock it, like a quarter turn, and then the, there are holes and a threaded part. So you can put a bolt in there and actually lock it. It needed a tiny, tiny bit of tweaking to like move to the side for, for it to be possible to get a bolt in place. Uh, we later bought an Allen head bolt that's kind of sticks in, it doesn't stick out. So I don't have that on video, I think, when we installed that. A lot of the air that's supposed to come out of, of the vents is blown here into here with all the fuses so we're gonna try to patch that up uh, and some rivets and hopefully it will hold up and then it was like it was not really very secure in its mounting so i've added some foam on here we reinforced the other side also that showed showed a little sign of starting to crack and so it was possible to Get it squeezed in there and I think it's hooked properly. Found cracks on the fan housing. Uh, it was like it was rattling loose. There could be part of the strange sound we were hearing. It was very tight getting it in and out but eventually got it. You needed to remove a whole lot of plastic and stuff to, to get access to removing the fan, so hopefully it will hold up. Here is the sensor for the internal temperature that I actually misplaced. I didn't realize that it was a, a, like a receptacle for it in this plastic, but I have issues to this day with the heating in the cab that I'm working on right now. Videos will come later if I figure it out. If anyone has any simple suggestion what's normally wrong with these machines regarding the cabin heat, please let me know. Uh, since it had all the sun visors you needed to get that in place. Put a piece of tarp I could wrap around here a few times and some zip types should help direct the air where it should be. Uh, put back the plastic covering most of the computers that sit under the computer and reinstall the computer.